We've probably read a couple science fiction books about traveling to the center of the Earth. Even modern movies use those ideas. But this book is a true classic. Hello fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this true classic, awesome sci-fi, never gets old, book. Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne, also the author of uh, a couple of leagues, in, like this book, 10,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which I will read and review shortly. Well, let's get right on to it. This book is about a professor, a professor who has a slightly, when, I'll just say this, if he catches on to an idea, he will never let go. And of course, the main character is nephew. Is that Professor, Professor Lindenbrock's nephew, Axel. Axel is living an ordinary life, being his, uh, his uncle's lab assistant, and he himself having interests in geology. And when Professor Lindenbrock and Axel discover an ancient scroll, that says that if you descend into a creator of a particular volcanic island, you'll be able to reach the center of the Earth. Of course, Axel didn't believe this idea because he believed that if you go closer and closer down into the depth of the Earth, it would get much, much hotter. Like, a lot. That no human could ever survive that. And while Professor Lindenbrock thought that that temperature and, and the ground beneath didn't matter, and that, oops, well, that it didn't matter, and that's why Linden, Mr. Professor Lindenbrock was, is a very impatient man. So he gathered everything he needed for the adventure, and he and Axel went on an adventure of their lifetime. They first, they traveled to Iceland, where the volcano is, well, there. The, the volcano is the dormant volcano, which is exactly why they can go inside. And where, find, with the Icelandic guide, a trusty Icelandic guide, they descend into the depth of the earth. First, they go down, 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 down. And the... the you can see the soil changing, the types of rocks and crystals changing, platinum, gold, and silver, mines of coal that no man has ever explored. And they went deeper and deeper down. And, and, and they, they met many per perils on the way. They had their food, of course, but they were running out of water. Thankfully, they found an underwater stream which they drank from, but still, that could have been bad. And Professor Lindenbrock let on, and one time Axel even got lost, and it was a big panic. And fi finally, they went down, and they found a sea. A sea, and it, it was lit up. It was like, it was like this phen phenomenon. It was like a permanent electrical light, harsh, but yet still natural. And there they find huge tree-like mushrooms and plants that we think as bushes in the garden that once, in the days of the Jurassic and of the dinosaurs, were big as the huge oakland trees we think of now. And, well, it's like, Nature has preserved a perfect image of what it used to be a couple millennia ago. Very interesting, if you know what I mean. And there they meet creatures, and in the waters of that sea, ancient sea dinosaurs, ancient sea mammals, live under the sea deadly, and could swallow their little raft that they had built into pieces. But they had to give up at the sea, for, for they had somehow gone in the opposite direction and came back to the shore that they had gone off from. And there, Professor Lind finally, they, were, they knew 
they could go, they thought they could go on, and they, well, blew up a hole in order to go. But alas, when they blew up the hole, they discovered that there was a huge creator underneath, and the water washed them, washed the raft in to straight into the void. But thankfully, the water was coming up and up and up because the hole was filling up. There's no such thing as an endless hole. And they went up, 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 up. And they exploded from a volcano thousands of miles away from the dormant volcano that they had gone into. And finally, they managed to reach home. And there they told the tales of what had happened, and Professor Lindenbrock and Axel became famous. And well, that is the end of the story. Although, I'll just say one thing. They never managed to get to the center of the Earth. And personally, I think that's where the real danger waits. Great book, a must read. And like always, your book wester in the book wester. Great book, guys. As I said, one of the most classical sci-fi books of all time.